Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars. When last we left off, George had been witness to quite a nasty explosion at this cafe. He was literally sitting outside, and the only victim of the explosion was a man who'd entered in but a minute before, with a briefcase that a clown had stolen. We don't have much to go on in trying to actually solve what's going on here, and we've been told by at least two people not to get involved. Detective Rosso, who's inside using his psychic interrogation on a witness, and Moo, who's outside, who told us that Rosso is doing his psychic interrogation on a witness. We're not quite sure how that works, or if that works, but one thing is for sure. George nearly lost his life during the events here, and it would seem that George is intent on trying to solve what's going on, even if it puts him in huge risk. However, there is somebody outside here who has done nothing but take pictures of the uh, scene with her camera, and either that camera has a um, roll of film that has an unlimited length, or all of the um, memory cards inside that digital camera, if it's digital, have unlimited capacity. Either that, or she's just deleting all the pictures because she can't find uh, any that actually capture what she wants to capture. Let's have a word with her, shall we? I imagine she's very important to the plot. In actual fact, she's very important to the plot. Excuse me, mademoiselle? Let's go have a conversation. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yeah, that's right, on holiday in Paris. Some holiday, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with an hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside, just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh no, nothing like that. I am Nicole Collard from La Liberté. Well, what's that, some kind of nightclub? Uh, no, it is a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you can interview me about the bombing. You know, an eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. Oh God, it's him again. That is some recollection indeed. Let's actually talk about that clown. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. Oh, fair enough. Who's the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Planter. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Uh, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. Yeah, we could actually mention the newspaper, maybe the um, note on it has meaning to her. I found this newspaper outside the cafe. That is not a newspaper, it's a gossip rag. It may have belonged to Plantar. So, he had a taste for sensationalist smut with right-wing bias. That doesn't tell us much. There's something written in it. Salah ed Dean, 1345. It sounds like a betting tip. The name of the horse and the time of the race. What do you think? I think there's something more to it. I don't think it is. That's too obvious. I wouldn't mind betting. This is a coded message. It's a romantic notion, but I don't think so. Well, I still think so. Let's talk more about this person. How did Plantar get your name? Through the newspaper La Liberté. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders. One in Italy, the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costumed killer. Planta said he could supply me with more information. Hmm. Well, he can't anymore, unfortunately, because he's dead. Do you know a police officer called Rosso? Rosso? Our paths have a knack of crossing. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was deliberate. Have you seen Rosso? Is he here? He's inside. Attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. What? That guy is weird. Yeah. We could talk more about him, maybe get a little bit more information, because after all, she has said that, um, their paths have crossed. 
Rasso didn't blink when I told him about the clown. It's as if he already knew. That is typical of a cold fish like Rosso. I've seen cheeseburgers with more spunk. Let's talk about her. You speak very good English for a French girl. Thanks. You speak very good English from America. That is quite a counter. We could talk about the card. Might as well. Look, the inspector gave me his card. I didn't know his first name was Augustin. It suits him, I must say. Fair enough. We need to press about the issue on the clown here because, uh, she doesn't really want us to get involved. But George wants to get involved. The plot demands it. Why won't you tell me about this clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. Okay, now we have two. Quite a collection. You help me with my story, and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be until, monsieur. Fine, I'll, uh, see you soon. And off she goes. We don't have anything that we, uh, need to do here right now. We have done everything we can. What we need to do is we need to go over here. If memory serves, and I don't remember much about what I've played in this game, we need a tool to get rid of that manhole cover. Also, if we'd have waited a little longer, she wouldn't have actually been in this scene. We need to talk to this gentleman here, but first we need to have a look around. Let's have a look around. There was nothing inside the tent except a large toolbox. That's handy. We could try and grab that, but that's not going to work. Hey! Stop that! Get away from there! What do you think you're doing? I was... admiring your toolbox. Are we? Had a good look, have you? I'm warning you, if you touch it, I'll crack your nut! Okay, I get your point. He is armed with a pick. I think he's being serious. Also, here's this door. Hmm. The door was securely locked. Don't think I'm going to be getting anywhere that way. We should actually talk to this uh, gentleman here. We could try and grab that, but that's not a good idea. Especially considering the fact that he's already told us not to touch any of his stuff. Let's have a conversation, shall we? Hello! How are you? Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested! No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics by quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Let's have a conversation, shall we? First about, um, the man in question who died. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Girl beat. I could have knocked this block off! Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find much out about the, uh, guy in question from this man. Did you recognize the old man? No! Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantar. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. Yeah, that was pretty hammy. Well observed, George. I was actually about to mention it, but you beat me to the punch. Let's talk about the clown. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like, in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Huh! Those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. That's a no, then, I think. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. 
He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. He'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. That's pretty true, but we can keep asking about the clown. Listen, I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course not. I mean, do I look like a cop? No, but you act like one, sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. The clown killed the old man? That's right. Blew him up with a bomb concealed in his squeeze box. Merde. But why did he go to the bother of dressing up like a clown? Who can unravel the tangled logic of a killer's mind? I guess it's some deep-seated psychological need. Or just plain showmanship. Now, that was an interesting point that this man came up with. George is sticking his nose in where it doesn't belong. That's what a lot of point-and-click adventure game protagonists do. And in this game, that could indeed get George killed. Unlike in other games, like the, uh, the Dig that I just played, you could die in this game. Revolution did indeed, and do, I think, still add death into, uh, as an option for your actions. We should ask about that toolbox. What's in the toolbox? What's in the toolbox? As if you didn't know. What's the big deal about tools, anyhow? They're cool. Tools are civilization. You don't say. That's right. Tools are what distinguish us from other animals. Who are you calling an animal? I've met your sort before. Looking down your nose at me because I'm working class, huh? I've a good mind to knock your block off. I don't think we're going to get very far with asking about the tools, but let's persist. What kind of tools do you keep in your box? Huh? You really are interested in tools? Sure. Like I said, tools are... Yeah, civilization. So you keep saying. So are you going to show them to me? Am I? Why, you? Aw, oh, come on. Just a little peek. I've got work to do. Find someone else to bother. Fair enough, I think that's a no, but let's be persistent. Do you have a tool for lifting manhole covers? As it happens, I do. Cool. Lend it to me, uh, just for a few minutes. No. Aw, oh, come on. No. Get your own. It's a little difficult to get our own. Do you see any manhole cover shops lying around here? Just happen to be by the street, you know, cafe, newsagents, manhole cover shop. You really don't see many manhole cover shops. Let me explain what I'm going to do with your manhole lifting tool. Let me explain what I'm going to do with my peak. Oh, hey, forget it. I'll come back when you're in a better mood. It doesn't get any better than this. So that's a no, then. However, I have a cunning plan. I think we could distract him with a newspaper. We have all the information we need from it anyway. Why don't we give it to him? Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip, so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Bah! Look at these! Damn bleeding out liberals! Cha! Save the dolphins! Catch them and eat them, I say! All that fuss over a bunch of fish! Nah, that's more like it! Look at the size of those! Like champagne bottle corks, no? Ah, what's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe! It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend! Bucephalus reborn, mon ami! Like a streak of lightning she is! Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stuff it! Help yourself! Well, we were wrong about the uh, writing at the bottom. Indeed, that was a racehorse. Well, I 
think we owe her an apology, but hey, let's go grab that tool that we need. Hmm. Fair enough, that's not really what we need necessarily. We need that toolbox. That, is that a... F oh, that's a phone, isn't it? That's a really small phone. I thought that was a toolbox. That's the toolbox. That's a phone. <laughs> Let's go look in the toolbox. I found just what I wanted. A tool for lifting manhole covers. Personally, I'd have looked for uh, millions of pounds, but hey, if that's exactly what you need, just what you need, I'm not going to deny you that. On the contrary, you've now got exactly what you need. Now let's go. Down here. I wonder if you could double click in it. No, it doesn't take you there any faster. Fair enough. We have what we need though. And if we go to the top here, we can use that item to open up the manhole. Let's have a look. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. That's probably because it's the entrance to a sewer, George. I'm not quite sure what you were expecting there, but uh, let's go in, shall we? What's the worst that could happen? And then we fell to our death. Nope, there's a ladder. There's more than a ladder down here. There's a nose. Do you see that? I have a nose for picking up items, you know. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, that was almost as terrible as Plantar's pun. And Plantar is dead. Let's go get that nose. As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be worn. It was the clown's red nose. Indeed. We could have a look at that. Can we have a look at that? Not just yet. Yeah, maybe we, if we right-click it. The nose was hollow. Printed on the inside were the words La Visée du Monde, Paris. That is an interesting piece of information to know. The card read Augustin Rosso and gave an address to the south of the Montparnasse Cemetery. Fair enough. It was a metal rod with a handle at one end and a short cross piece at the other. Also, I hadn't looked at the newspaper, but that's okay. Let's keep moving, shall we? There's much to see down here. We have a killer to find! And a man to avenge. Also, we have a few more things that we can actually uh, look at here. Like this! I scooped up the soggy tissue. It was cold and greasy, like breakfast leftovers. Yeah. What about this? This looks important. I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. Hmm. I think these things bear closer investigation. It was the soggy tissue I'd found in the sewers. Okay, not that close an investigation. It was the scrap of material I'd found in the sewer. Also, just as a random point, I mean, this is really pretty art here. There's a lot of effort that went into the, um... the creation of these scenes. I mean, point and click adventure games don't tend to have a... Uh, some of them have very few actual scenes, and so a lot of, um... a lot of care goes into their creation. And it, especially with games that are older and don't and didn't have the uh, the size, the raw size, things like this were really impressive. It certainly develops an atmosphere. I mean, you can hear the uh, the bats screeching around. I don't even know why George just so fearlessly came down here anyway. I certainly wouldn't have. Hey, do you want to go down in that sewer? No, not really. I'd have said no. In fact, not at all. But that's neither here nor there. For when we come back, folks, we'll go up this ladder. Because we've no idea where this ladder actually leads. In fact, I'm 
a little curious as to why we'd even want to actually go and uh, go up that ladder. The plot probably demands it. So, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.